so now we will be writing the code for editing the user so for that we haven't written the backend code so we will just go into the intelize and inside this user controller so for editing the user so first thing we have to get the specific user with the specific user id so for that you just need to get the user with the specific id so for that just type get mapping and we just need to type user slash and just give the curly braces and just type id so with the specific ids where well, we just have to get the user information and just type user for that and just type get user by id and inside here so since we are getting the specific user with id so we just have to use the annotation path variable and just type the long id so just type id and inside here just return the user repository dot so we will be just using the find by id which is given by jpa and just pass the id and if somebody just type the invalid id or which is not present in the database so this should display some error message as well so for that we will be writing the dot or else throw and just use the arrow function inside here so this is the lambda function and just type new and just type the class name which we will be creating inside this exception package so just type user not found exception so we will be creating the exact same class and we will be passing the id as well so just type id and just type the semicolon and let me just create the user not found exception class inside this exception so just create the class and just type the exact name just type user not found exception so just type exception and just click enter and this should extend with the runtime exception and let me just create one constructor so for that just type public and just type user not found exception and let me just type long id to pass the id and just type super and let me just type some message like could not found the user with id and just pass the id here as well so let me just give one space here and this is showing one related problem so let me just click here and we just need to import this user not found exception class so just import the class so once you do that so we just have to add the advice class as well so for that let me again create one more class inside this exception and let me just type user not found advice so just type advice and we just need to annotate this class with controller advice and inside here so we will be writing the code for handling the exception so just type public so since we will be returning the map so just type map of string comma string and just type exception handler and inside here just pass the user not found exception and let me call it exception and inside here so i just want to create the map object so just type map and just type string and comma string again and just create the object so just give some name like error map and let me just type new hatch map so now from this exception so we will get all the fields which are having the issue so we just need to extract and put it into the map so for that we just need to type error map dot put and we just need to give the error message error message or you can just type whatever you want so just type error message and just type comma exception dot get message so whichever the message we will be getting from the exception handler and just give the semicolon and now simply return the map so just type return and just type error map and again we need to annotate this with some of the annotations so the first thing is since we will be getting this response so just type response status or response body so just type response body and similarly so we just need to annotate this with exception handler as well so just type exception handler and inside here you just need to type the user not found exception dot class so what this basically will tell to the spring boot is if you are getting the user not found exception dot class in the controller then send the request to this handler so similarly we just need to write the response status as well so this is the response for not found so we just need to type http status and just type the not found so we just need to type this one so once you do that so we should be able to 
run the application so let me just click here and run application and now if i just go to the postman and let me just create the new request so just click on add request and just type http localhost and user slash and just give the id so if i just type one so since we have the data with user id one so if i just click on send so this will show the specific user with the id one so similarly if i just put two here so this should show me the data with the user id two similarly if i just type three so this should basically display all the users so now if i just type 20 which is not available in our database and just click enter so now this should show us the custom error message which we have given so this is showing something like could not found the user with id 20 so this is how you get the specific user with the user id so now we will be working on edit or put mapping or editing the user <music>